So here's a quick little video I was going to make about how I do dip removal. I broke off a nail yesterday at work. Um, it just popped off because I jammed it in a corner. So now I'm going to take all of these off. So I um, get some cotton balls and then I just unroll them basically till I have a little piece that's like this and then I just lay them down and make a little bit of a nest so that there's not any open spots so when I put my hand down in it I can put my fingers onto the whole little pile that I made and then um, I use these little medicine cups to measure um, two of these and I pour it into this is all hot water that I microwaved for about a minute and a half and this is a little bowl. I put the little nest down in it like this. And then I pour my acetone. And usually you want to do this pretty fast too because the steam's all escaping and they're not going to be very hot. So I put two of these. Pour that in. And I cover this back up and usually just let the acetone sit for just a little bit. These are just old kitchen towels that I started using and then I've got this cut pool noodle and I put it right under here under the edge so that I have a little wrist rest and then I have this whole thing on a little plastic um, or melamine tray that I got from this store that we have here called Daiso um, and this helps protect my table and that way when the bowls are hot, I can carry it from the kitchen also, from the microwave. So I let that just warm up for a little bit and you can hear the acetone fizzing. So um, it's a little bit too hot right now. It just warms it up with the hot water that I have on the outside part of the bowl and then with the inside. So when you undo the cotton balls, you can just kind of pick them apart like this. Or there's usually a little edge piece you can find. These are cheap ones, but they just kind of unroll. And then I just build them up into a little pile like that. So when I put my hands in. And so after this sits for a little while, um, I actually forgot I put this under another layer of the towel so it stays really, really warm. Put my noodle in. And then I just put my hand down in it like this. I kind of tuck this under my wrist. And then I put the other towel on top. That way a lot of the steam doesn't kind of escape. And then you just wait. And then this other hand, since I don't have a third arm, I just have to kind of tuck in the edges. That's how I do my removal and it takes about the same time, about 10 minutes. Um, this way you don't have to worry about spilling anything out of the Ziploc bags and you don't really waste the Ziploc bags because these little cups are reusable. And then after that's all finished, I just move them over to the side and let it all dry up and then you just pull out this little pile that you get and put it in the trash and the acetone's all dried up. That's it.